All right, everyone. Meeting time. Quietly. The dog is sleeping. Here we go again. What happened this time? It wasn't me. Dude, chill. No one's even made any accusations yet. Yeah? Well, I'm making one. It was them. That's right. They did it. Did what? Now, now, we don't have nearly enough information to arrive at any conclusions just yet. But while we don't know who did it, we do know what it is. And it was a murder. Oh. As you can probably infer from their absence, Stu met an early demise at the hands of someone among us. An imposter, a liar, a psychopath. I'm not a psychopath. Chill, bro. No one's even looking at you. He's right, you know. I gotta admit, you jumping to that kind of defensiveness is pretty sus. Nah. He's not the imposter. I saw the real one with my own two eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, what now? Now, we ask them some questions. Alright, pal. What were you doing in the moments before the meeting was called? You're going to have to be more specific than that. Where were you doing your tasks? What tasks were you doing? Uh-huh. I see. Alright. Well, did anyone witness anything that might disprove these claims? Yeah, I saw them do it. Whoa. So, how did it happen? Okay, so I was walking from the lower engine to security to check the cams, since I was feeling a little, uh, suspicious. I thought there was a weird vibe going on, you know? But right before I rounded the corner, I got a peek into the reactor room across the hall. And there, they were. Standing over the mutilated corpse of It's okay, bro. It's okay. I think we've heard enough. What do you mean? So we saw him near the corpse. What does that prove? You didn't actually see him do it. You make a good point. Is it true that you didn't see the actual murder? Yeah, it's true. But who else could have done it? There was no one else around. Well, let's get some more details from the accused. So, he says he saw you standing over the corpse of our crewmate when the meeting was called. Is this true? I see. So, you're not even going to dispute their story. Okay, so tell me, why should we believe that you're not the killer, even though you've personally admitted to being alone with the dead body only moments ago. You, you only want me to know? Oh, come on, oh. seriously. Uh-huh. you got to be kidding me. All right. Whisper it in my ear. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then. So what'd they say? Come on, spill the beans. Before I do, I must ask you all a question. Which of you hit the emergency alarm? No one. Seriously? I guess it's true. They hit the emergency alarm. Wait up, dude. So, you saw him with the body, but didn't even hit the alarm? I was about to. Come on, man. Seriously? You have no evidence against him. 
All we know is that they were near the body and then hit the alarm. If anything, they've got more of an alibi than you. You got a point. I mean, if you know where the body was, but you weren't the one to report it, and now you're throwing all these accusations around. What are you trying to say? All right, everyone, cool it. None of this proves anything. There are still lots of questions to be asked, and it's entirely possible that we simply don't have enough info between the six of us to conclude anything at all. So let's go over the details as calmly as we can. Fine. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay, something is bugging me. When I first asked you what you were doing before the meeting was called, you only mentioned your tasks. Why didn't you mention the body? Why didn't you start by bringing up the most important part? Uh huh. Okay, okay, I, I see. I get it. I asked what you were doing before calling the meeting, and you gave me everything before the few seconds where you discovered the body and called the meeting. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to be a little less literal than that going forward. You know what I meant. So now I'd like to go around the room and get some basic details from everyone. Let's go in clockwise order, starting with you over there. I want to know what you were doing in the moments leading up to, and including, the sounding of the alarm. Okie doke. So, uh, I was just doing tasks, you know, swiping cards, connecting wires, etc. And where were you doing these tasks? Uh, weapons and uh, storage, I think. You think? Calm down. Was it storage or not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was storage. Okay, next. What were you doing? Tasks. Just like everyone else. I'm going to need more details than that. I took out trash in the cafeteria and fueled the upper engine. Thank you. Moving on. What about you? I already told you what I was doing. No, you just told me about the moment you found the body. What about before that? Uh, fixing wires and electrical. This whole time, bro? How many wires needed fixing? I didn't count. Dude, that was a rhetorical question, bro. Quiet. So that's it? Fixing wires and electrical? Yep. And I went over towards security, saw the body, and the alarm sounded before I could reach the button. Okay. Next. Dude, I was just chilling, you know? Okay, okay, I was... I was in communications, chatting with my girl, you know? You weren't even doing your job. Nah, didn't feel like it. Alright then, that leaves me, and I was in navigation, uploading data and handling the piloting system as usual. Does anyone have any other details that might help us figure out who did this? I saw a half-eaten slice of cake over an admin. What flavor? I don't know, man. I don't taste with my eyes. What does this have to do with anything? I could really go for some cake right now, bro. And so could I. But that's beside the point. Do you intend on linking this cake to the crime? Or are you just hungry? Honestly, I'm just hungry. But you know what I'm hungry for? The truth. So let's stay on topic. I'll ask once again, does anyone have any other information 
that might lead to the identification of the killer. All right then, I suppose now would be a good time to take another look at the body. I'll be right back. Whoa, that was fast. Of course it was. I'm eager to get this over with. Anything new then? Indeed. Taking a closer look at the victim's wounds, it appears that they suffered massive blood loss from a series of bites. Uh, bites? Seriously? Ah, oh, disgusting. Bro, are you telling me we have a cannibal on board? Well, it certainly seems possible, but if someone here bit the victim to death, that means they had to remove their helmet. Isn't the first rule of this whole mission not to remove your helmet? Yep, except during dining hours. Well, I guess it was dining hours in someone's mind. Well, removing your helmet may be against the rules, but I'm guessing no murder is on the list of rules, too. Whoever did this doesn't care for the rules. Quite right. Now, if that rule wasn't in effect, I have already asked you all to remove your helmets and show me your teeth. You know, to check for blood and all of that. But apparently, that isn't going to be an option, so let's try the next best thing. I'm going to need you all to press your faces up against the front of your helmets and bare your teeth. These helmets are pretty opaque, to say the least, but I think we might be able to check for bloody teeth if you get right up against them. Sounds good to me. Alright, everyone, show me your teeth. I said, show me your teeth. I am. Yeah, dude, I can't press my face any harder than this is there. This isn't gonna work. I suppose not. Well, it was worth a try. I suppose we could wait until dining hours and check everyone's teeth then. But that's three hours away. Three hours during which any number of us could become victims to this mystery cannibal. Agreed. We can't afford to just go back to work like nothing happened, but we also can't waste our time sitting here together to ensure no one tries anything funny. Tasks must be completed, and soon. We don't want another meltdown scare. The only choice we have is to arrive at a conclusion and take action to preserve the remaining lives on this ship. We must take a vote and decide who is going to be thrown out of the airlock. Bro, whoop. Damn right, and I'm voting them. I saw them with the body, and everyone else was off doing other stuff. And they've been suspiciously quiet this whole time. And nothing says guilt like silence. Or perhaps one who's innocent feels no need to defend themselves against baseless accusations. Not that yours are baseless, of course, but I simply don't believe that silence is any indication of guilt. <sighs> I guess you're right. But what else do we have to go on? Oh, really now? Well, tell us. Is that so? Yes, it's true. So you're admitting that you removed your helmet outside of dining hours. Why were you walking around with your helmet off? The cake looked really good. I'm sure it did. 
but why couldn't it wait until dining hours? I had already eaten my ration slice. I didn't want anyone to know I was taking a second one, so I ate it in admin while everyone was off doing their tasks. Bro, was that my slice? Who cares? We literally have this dude admitting that he was walking around without a helmet. Look, it's a long story. Don't BS us. You had that helmet off long after you finished the cake. Why are we supposed to believe you weren't the one who took a bite out of stew? Calm down, everyone. Let's get to the bottom of this. Now, I must say, these crewmates raised some very valid points. What do you have to say for yourself? Okay, okay, okay. I, I know what it sounds like. Sounds like I was wandering around with my helmet off even when I wasn't eating the cake. And that's true. But the cake was all I ate, not stew. And why did you leave your helmet off even after finishing the cake? Alright, alright. Just let, let me start from the beginning. We all went off to do our tasks, and honestly, I really did start off by fixing wires and electrical. But you all know my appetite. I, I started thinking about the cake, and I got a stupid idea. I decided to sneak back to the cafeteria, take a slice of cake that was in mine, and hide out in admin to eat it. But halfway through the slice, I got paranoid. You know, I was, I was thinking, what if the security cameras saw me take the cake? What if they were watching my helmetless face eat it? I got all freaked out and decided to run over to security to make sure the cameras weren't recording the act. In my panic, I forgot to put the helmet back on. And that's why I was spotted by the real cannibal without my helmet on near security. And that's why a half-eaten slice of cake was found in admin. I admit to all of it, but I will not admit to killing Stu, because I did no such thing. I have nothing else to say. Alright, does anyone object to a vote? What? Nope. I'm ready. Let's vote, dudes. All in favor of ejecting this man. Spotted without a helmet near the bite-ridden corpse of our friend, say I, 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 nay, I, I, and you.